Hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Watch Kingdom Hearts 358 and a half days, or I actually don't know how you pronounce it, 358 over 2, 358 halves, 358 divided by 2, 300, I, I don't, I, I never knew how to pronounce that. Anyways, yeah, you heard it right. I said let's watch, because this, my friends, is from the Kingdom Hearts 1.5 Remix HD Collection, whatever you want to call it, for the PS3. They did not include the full game, but they did include all of the cutscenes as one long movie. So, the way we're going to do this is it's going to kind of be like a movie commentary where I just watch the show, the video, the whatever, and I just comment on it as it goes. Now, hopefully, there's like breaks and shit, so I don't have to like sit here for like three hours and watch the whole thing, because I think I read that it was about three hours long. That's a long ass fucking video, so hopefully, it's broken up into chapters as it says right here. And we can just go and kind of take breaks as we watch. So, I want to get this started without too much fanfare. But I do know that this story for this game takes place in between Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, I want to say. Like, after Chain of Memories or during Chain of Memories, maybe. Actually, based on this picture, I would say after Chain of Memories. Um, probably. Because you see Riku over there with his little mask on. Um, and Mickey wearing his little black robe as well. So I would guess that this takes place after Chain of Memories. We'll find out a little bit more, obviously, as soon as we start this. So I'm going to stop talking at the moment, and let's get it going. And yes, I will full full uh, disclosure now, I will be talking over them from time to time. So, like I said, it's going to be like movie commentary. If you don't want if you want to watch these without any, any of my dialogue over it, by all means, go find them. There's plenty of them posted. Watch those. And, uh... Otherwise, there's no, not going to be any gameplay here. So if you're looking for a Let's Play, sorry. Go f watch somebody play 358 over 2. I, I have zero desire to do so. It doesn't really look like that much fun to me in terms of how the game is laid out. So I'd rather just know what happens in the story. So that's why I'm okay with doing it this way. All right, let's play, damn it. Or watch. Um, play all or continue. Pitiful Heartless. Mindlessly collecting hearts. The rage of the Keyblade releases those hearts. They gather in darkness, masterless and free, until they weave together to make kingdom hearts. And when that time comes, we can truly, finally exist. Okay, that would be, uh character we Roxas. haven't actually met. Oh, oh Roxas. Are you really sure that you don't have a heart? I don't know. I can't just look inside. But I figure if there is oh God, something dude, I in love this fucking song, by the way. inside us, then we'd feel it, wouldn't we? <laughs> True enough. Is it going to play this whole song right now? Oh, man. Well, I don't know. Do I do I have to mute the song? I might have to mute the song, guys, and put something else over this. But this is the awesome rendition of Sanctuary. Let's just watch this. Xemnas 1. Okay. Anyway. Versus skill. Zigbar is number 2. We actually get to meet all of the organization 13, which is pretty cool here. To list them off in order by number and see them all. Zaldin 3. If you've played Kingdom Hearts 2, then you've seen a lot of these guys. Also, if you've played Chain of Memories, you've seen most of the rest of them. Like this guy, Vexen. He was in Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. I didn't recall him being from Kingdom Hearts 2. Now I know why. Along with this guy. I don't remember him in Kingdom Hearts 2 either, because I think he gets wrecked here in, in Chain of Memories. Lexius. Along with this guy. What was his name again? Z uh, Zexia, and that's it. Um, but anyway, this called Sanct this game this song that we're not listening to right now is called Sanctuary. It's also by Utada, who sings uh, the song from the first game as well. Simple and clean. And it's I love the song even more than I like that one. It gets me hyped for Kingdom Hearts 2 every time. Hopefully I have found a suitable replacement for you for this or something to overlay so I'm not just talking and you guys are listening to nothing music wise hopefully maybe at least at least a musical version anyways I'm not going to read all these guys names but a lot of these guys are in Kingdom Hearts 2 so I do know them 
In fact, all the rest of these guys that weren't in Chain of Memories are all are pretty much in Kingdom Hearts too. Like all of them. And I always thought this was a chick when I saw the picture of him until I met him in freaking Chain of Memories. Marluxia, Lucia, Marluxia, Miss Beezy. <laughs> she was awesome, but for being so evil, she was awesome. Anyway, there's 12 of them. Organization 13, though. Who's the 13th? Who's the 13th? Spoiler. Might be this kid. But who is this kid? All we know is his name is Roxas. That's all we know. Oh, sword. You feel nothing. Nothing is real. I can give you purpose. Telling him he's gonna murder Sora? Hmm, interesting. Yeah, this is definitely something that takes place in between Chain of Memories and Kingdom Hearts 2. Anyway, Roxas is number 13, there you go. That's just right. The new you, raw. Theme song by Utada. That's my girl though. That's my girl. I'm sorry if you're not hearing it like I am, because I freaking love it, man. Oh, those popsicles. Those freaking popsicles, man. Man, I miss the old times. Still got it memorized. The day we met, when you got your new name, you and I sat right here just like this and watched the sunset. That's one way to kick it off. Alrighty then. There it is, guys. Kingdom Hearts, 358 over two days. You guys can tell me how that's pronounced if you want to, because I don't fucking know. Okay, day 255. Why the sun sets red. Here we go. You're early. Your mom is early. No, you're just late. I just really wanted Today a popsicle, man. Today makes 255. Man. What's that about? It's been that many days since I first joined the organization. Man, time flies. So, you got the number memorized, do you? Yeah. Have to hang on to something, right? It's not like I have memories from before the organization. Don't you remember? I acted like a zombie. Right. That first week, you could barely form a sentence. But come on, you're still kind of a zombie. Oh, thanks. Uh <laughs> <laughs> hey, Roxas. Bet you don't know why the sun sets red. You see, light is made up of lots of colors. And out of all those colors, red is the one that travels the farthest. Like I ask, know it all. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Funny joke. Seriously, where is she? Who are we waiting for? Don't you dare tell me Larxene. <laughs> ah, Larxene. The destiny that is about to unfold actually started when we first met on the seventh day after I came here. Day two. Oh, I see. I get it now. Okay, so we're going to go all the way back to the seventh day. Come on, math. You can do it. There you go. Seven. Number 14. Ooh, interesting. Okay. But I thought they were Organization 13. 
Good tidings, friends. Today is a momentous day. I am pleased to announce that a new comrade has been chosen to wear the coat. Number 14. Let us all welcome one of the Keyblades Chosen. Damn, girl. You look good in that coat, though. That's what Roxas is thinking right now. For the seven days since my arrival, the name Roxas and the number 13 were all I had. Who the people around me were, what they wanted, or what they were trying to do, I had no idea. All right then. One day goes by, the icing on the cake. I like cake. Teach him well, Axel. Don't worry. I'll be sure he makes the grade. Roxas, let's go. Hmm? What's wrong? You worried about the new kid? What was that name again? Number 14. Shion. Right. Shion. I knew that. Shion. Got it memorized. Got it memorized, Oh, Roxas? nice. Nice. Beat me to it, yeah. bro. Beat me to it. Yeah? Him. How about my name, then? Axel. And how about our boss's name, huh? Xemnas. No way you're gonna forget his name, right? Let's go. And away we go! All right. Roxas completed his first mission. Axel took Roxas to a special place instead of returning straight to the castle. Okay. What did I just do? Did I fuck it up? I hope I didn't fuck it up. I might have fucked the it up. The icing on the cake. Huh? You remember what this ice cream is called? Delicious. It's, um... Sea salt ice cream. I already told you before. Get it memorized. It's salty. But sweet. <laughs> Roxas, you said the same exact thing the other day. I did? I don't remember. So what has it been? A week since you joined the organization? I guess it has. You guess it has? Come on, you must remember that much. Well, here you are, finally out in the field working for the organization, right? For the organization? You might even say that today is where it all really begins for you. Where it all begins. You might say this is where it begins, As mother- As a member of the organization, I'll be receiving missions every day. But I'm still not exactly sure what I'm supposed to do. So see, that's the thing about 358 over 2 that I didn't care about, is that it's like a mission-based game. And it's only that way because it's handheld, but that just made me really not care to play the whole game myself. Anyway, Roxas learned of the Heartless during his mission. Okay. Marluxia, who accompanied Roxas on his mission, explained how hearts appear when a Heartless is defeated. He also explained that the organization seeks to collect released hearts to complete Kingdom Hearts, and that Roxas, as a Keyblade wielder, is the only one capable of completing this mission. Ah, he's the only Keyblade wielder, so he's the only one that can defeat the Heartless. Mm -hmm. Okay. The organization defeats the Heartless in order to collect hearts and complete Kingdom Hearts. But why do the why does the uh, organization want hearts? I don't know what that hearts? is. Huh? Or what it does. I don't even know what a heart is. Cause you ain't got one, son. All right. Anyway. Incomplete. 
to learn what a organization member is. All right, organization members seek to become whole by assimilating with kingdom hearts. Zexion explained how nobodies lack hearts and are therefore incomplete and desire ones of their own. Now that is a big thing when I started Kingdom Hearts 2, is nobodies. What the nobodies fuck are nobodies? don't exist. Anyway, let's let them just keep going. We in the organization were born without hearts. So, if we don't have hearts, does that mean we don't exist? I don't know. You tell me, sir. Day 11. Keyblade. Alright, alright, alright. On day 11, Lark Seen, who accompanied Roxas on his mission, seemed displeased with him for being a Keyblade wielder. She instructed Roxas on how to fight without using the Keyblade. By training without the Keyblade, Roxas once again realized its e efficacy, but the question of why he alone can wield it deepens. Deep in his heart. The Keyblade releases hearts. So why am I the only one who can wield such a thing? I do not know, I'm sir. I all these things, but there's so much more that I don't get. Truth be told, I actually know some of the answers to what he's asking, but I'm not going to talk about them here for Kingdom Hearts 2 shall be where we have a lot more answers when I get there. Anyway, while carrying out a reconnaissance mission together, Vexen informed Roxas that there are other worlds, and one must be aware of each world's own unique rules and features. Oh, you, got, you didn't know all the features of uh, Little Mermaid? Well, she's got... Back and forth. Oh, to and from the same places every day. Sometimes we go to other places on real missions, but we can't cross the walls that divide the worlds. That's why we create our own paths in the darkness, or so they say. Paths in the darkness. Day 13, deeds to be done. Ooh, fancy. Okay. Alexius exhorted Roxas to rely only on his own strength during missions. Roxas had simply followed the organization's orders up to that point. But he began to realize that his ability to wield the Keyblade was his strength and something that only he could do. Because all these other bitches ain't shit. Alexius informed Roxas that he is vital to the organization, but without him, they are heartless forever, or nobody's forever. Whatever. There are nice guys and not so nice guys in the organization. Yep. But everyone's working together to complete Kingdom Hearts. There's lots I don't know, but I do know I have to keep fighting the darkness so I can be whole. I want to be whole again. Day 14. Friends! How many of them have them? Friends. Oh, these guys. Who are they? Probably just some kids who live here. Hmm. So does everybody act that way? What do you mean? Like running around chasing each other, making all that noise. Well, yeah. If they have hearts, I suppose that's what they do. Hearts. Come on, let's get some ice cream. Why? Why? Uh, well, cuz... It's delicious. Because we're friends. Friends. Friends eat ice cream together and talk and laugh about the stupidest things. Like those kids we just saw. Come on, let's go. Axel and Roxas, best friends forever. So kawaii desu. Hey, Roxas. After your next mission, let's meet up for ice cream again. No fun just going back and forth between the castle and work, right? Yeah, right. We're friends, huh? 
friends eat ice cream together. Yay! All right, day 15, missions. Mission. Oh boy. Roxas executed his missions without much thought. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. He's just wrecking shop. Hey, those are nobodies. He's fighting against nobodies? But I thought those were his kind. Whoa, 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 whoa! Alright, day 22. Left behind. No one gets left behind! I'm gonna miss this ice cream thing we do. Miss it? What? Huh? Gonna be away for a while. Starting tomorrow. Really? Where I can you fill going, you bro? in since we're friends. I'm gonna be at Castle Oblivion. Oh shit, okay. Castle Oblivion? The organization's got a second castle in the world between worlds. It's called Castle Oblivion. Got it memorized? I wish somebody told me these things. Anyway, you're not number well, seven. I gotta get head over back it. and get ready. Nothing but fun, fun, fun. Winner! Winner! He got the winner! <laughs> okay, silent companion. Axel, I have a message from Lord Xemnas. Among the members assigned to Castle Oblivion, there are traitors. Find them and dispose of them. I trust. That really came from Lord Xemnas himself. <laughs> okay, some of the motivations behind what happens in Chain of Memories. Nice. Hey, okay. Axel? Doesn't look like Axel to me. If you're looking for Axel, he's gone. What do I do with this? You're a winner! Winner! Roxas received orders to carry out a mission with Xeon, or Xion, or whatever the hell they said. Xion, hooded and hiding any facial expression, spoke not a word throughout the mission. They just murdered flowers without any remorse. Uh oh, silence broken. She's gonna say words. She's gonna say words. You guys ready for her to say words? This place is so much nicer. Without the loud mouths. Loud mouths? Those bossy co workers sent to Castle Oblivion. Well, I suppose it's too bad you and Poppet didn't get to spend a little more quality time with them. Poppet? I'm talking about Shion, kiddo. Kiddo? Roxas, get to work. Bitch, don't tell me what to do. Just because you're number like three, tell me what to do. I've got some place to be again today. So go on ahead without me. R Roxas. Huh? Shion? Roxas is your name. Yeah. Huh. The end. Roxas is your name. For it is the name that you are given. Roxas. Huh. I don't know. It's almost like it's an anagram of Sorax, but I'm not sure. Roxas. Ooh, hello. Best of luck today. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh -huh. uh -huh. let's go. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, hey, look, what are these guys? Uh oh. Oh shit. Who says only he can wield? Nice. Wow. I... 
Shion, I didn't know you could use the Keyblade. You know? Neither did I. <laughs> you earned the icing on the cake. Huh? Come on, I'll show you. Nice. He's like, let me take you on a date, because Axel is gone right now. This is such a great spot. How'd you find it? Here you go. Sea salt ice cream. Come on, try it. Mm. It's sweet. And salty. It's good, right? Axel and I, we meet here for ice cream after work. This flavor is Axel's favorite. Sounds like it's yours, too. Yeah. Axel brought me here to eat ice cream on my first day with the organization. And then, after my first mission, he got me ice cream again, said it was icing on the cake. Like you just did for me. Yeah. You guys must be really close. Well, Axel and I are friends. Friends? Do you think that I could be a friend? When Axel gets back, we'll all have ice cream together. Okay. <laughs> okay. Day 26, terminated. Is it true then? About Castle Oblivion? That's none of your concern. And Axel? Gone. He may have disappeared for good. What? This must be after all the madness happened there and a bunch of the organization members got wrecked. And now he's just in Aladdin's world doing his work. Hey, what happens when Heartless are destroyed? The hearts remain. And then, those hearts gather together to form the great kingdom hearts. Then, can you tell me what remains if a nobody is destroyed? What's there to leave behind? We're not even supposed to be in the first place. And the members at Castle Oblivion, where'd they go? Nothing's left of them. In which case, I'll never see them again? That's right. You coming? Huh? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. What's happening? Okay, something's happening. Nama nama nay. She's messing with his brain. Should have guessed. Should have guessed. Anyway, the dark margin. Okay. Okay. I've been to see him. He looks a lot like you. Who are you? I'm what's left. Or maybe I'm all there ever was. I meant your name. My name is of no importance. What about you? Do you remember your true name? My true name is... You have been with us for six days now. The time has come. how they just did like the lip sync thing where they don't actually set, tell you what the name is that he said was even though it was either obvious or maybe will not will he wake from this I am told Roxas will return 
provided the hero is stripped of all his memories. Then I suppose much hinges on Castle Oblivion. Shion has gained power over the Keyblade, just as we intended. She can feel Roxas's shoes for the time being. Okay. Makes sense, I suppose.